Hey there, knife fans. Love Them Knives Channel, LTK here. Ah, yes, Benchmade Hunt Series. And, yeah, this North Fork folder is a small, fairly small knife. Kind of in there, maybe a little bit kind of with the mini grip type situation. Um, and, of course, there's one that comes in a wooden handle and one that doesn't like this one right here satin blade s30v steel not a whole lot of spiel other than their logo and their uh, steel moniker here ambidextrous thumb studs and you've got the axis lock and this one is not my knife but it came from a buddy of mine Frank sent me a bunch of knives and this is one of them and you can see the pocket clip is black coated it goes right hand or left hand tip up Opens and closes great. I love it. This here is a puzzlement. Now, maybe the function is uh, because it's a hunting oriented knife. So, however, if you're going to use this to skin something or whatever, then uh, there may be a reason for that. I'm not sure. I haven't studied up on it enough, and I'm sure somebody in the comment section is going to tell us. So we'll answer all of our questions. We've got some traction here, my friends. We've got stainless steel scales. And if you can look in there, you can see that they're skeletonized. You can also see that they've added traction to the top of the stainless steel liners. But since it doesn't follow through on the scales, and some knives, when they do that jimping, it comes through on the scales. See what I'm saying? Here, it does not follow through there. It's a little less effective in my estimation because of that. It's a little harder to get. I really can't feel much of anything there. Yes, you can on the blade, though. Interesting blade grind, uh, but it looks like it would be very useful as an all-around. And I think part of the point of this grind is to have some meat on the tip. And so, yeah. There is. So for piercing casts, that works. You've got standoffs. You've got one. You've got two. And that's really all you need on this knife. And you've got a very sturdy pocket clip. You like that little split design. I think that's kind of cool myself. Um, you know, and it's blacked out for non-glare. The actual hardware here is black. And this is a very textured type of G10. I wonder if I can show you kind of... Because, see, you look at these little striations. It's not just a look. It You feel that. that th those are waves in the handle that are raised above grade. Okay, so you can really feel that grain across here and also you've got actually the texturing in here as well for extra grip so is it grippy yeah it's pretty grippy it's pretty grippy maybe not as grippy as something like that now that's real grippy but you know i guess maybe you're looking at aesthetics as well and I don't know if you're trying to make it look like it's like little Whitlin lines along here where you it's kind of a faux wooden type 
effect in the G10? I don't know. But it's interesting. Black and gray. Very, you know, uh, backwoods looking as far as outdoorsy. Uh, it's, these, are, these are colors that will, will not be conspicuous. Which could be important. I guess. And of course, you've got the ever famous access lock. Which is so, the spring on this is just so easy to pull back. And you can see how you've got these little areas where it makes it very accessible to get your hands on, on that release. You know, and it's a little bit different. I mean, if you're looking at like a Ganzo knife that has a G-lock, look at the difference in how far that sticks up. Yeah, that's kind of one of the little niggles I have about the Ganzo slash Firebird is that, you know, these are a lot easier to get your hands on because they stick up a little higher. You know, and it's all in the design thought process. But, you know, Benchmade, wow. It's hard to have issues with their knives. Fit and finish is really good. Like I said, skeletonized scales, G10, grippy, grainy. You've got traction here, and this traction you can feel. Although it's not a rough type traction, it's there. And as these uh, liners extend out, you have a lanyard hole available. But left and right hand tip up carry is also available, as well as the ambidextrous thumb studs. I mean, you kind of got it all here. How heavy is this dog? Well, if I can uh, turn this dog on, then we can weigh it. It's weird. It looks like the power went out on it. Just That's all you need. 3.4 ounces. So it's, you know, it's very light. Yeah, it's under 100 grams. Uh yeah. Cycle back for me, buddy. Interesting. Um, I don't know how it would really compare with a mini grip. I don't have a mini grip on the table right now. Here's a Delica. Yeah, we're looking at about the same size as far as the blade goes. But less overall length as far as the handle goes. You know, this is just under three inches, just a skosh. What's this one? I believe it's about the same. And it is. I mean, right at about a sixteenth under three inches. And it's under seven. It's at six and seven eighths overall. And I think that Delica is just right at seven and maybe a sixteenth. So, you know, uh, metric 17 and a half centimeters, seven and a half centimeter blade. And what do we got? How beefy is that dog? Eh, about three millimeter thick. Not bad. 0.115 inches. Can we get this thing around here? Well, wow, we got a half inch. Uh, thick blade, uh, thick handle, and that's 13 millimeters. So you know what? That's a lot heavier, thicker handle than this. The blade stock on this is thicker and heavier. No doubt. This is a lot less expensive. So and we're going down that road up. Yeah, you're right. Not as expensive. This one's more, muy more expensive. But it's not VG10, it's S30V. So, there you go. Got a big difference there, too. So, it just depends on how you feel about blade steels. Uh, this is thicker and heavier in the hand. It's a heavier knife than the little Delica would be. This is under three ounces. This is over. 
This is a little bit shorter overall length, but the hand, the blade length, same. So you're using all of that scale, but not so much that you're going to come in contact with it with your finger. So that's good. Fit and finish is good. Gosh, it's a bench made, <laughs> you know? Here's the, uh, I'm sorry, I never got you into the uh, end of the box where you got the model number. Blue class, hunting series, paperwork, of course. Little tag, access lock, usually it sticks on the clip there. And the pouch with the fitted interior. Nice, huh? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, my buddy Frank sent it to me, like I said, and uh, he is taking some of his knives out of his collection, sent them to me, and asked me if I could find new homes for him. He's chasing a Hinderer XM18, or God only knows, he might change his mind. But he is relinquishing ownership of a few knives. This one's got a sticker on the box where there was a price sticker, I guess, at one point in time. I think these dogs are around 100 and, whew, I don't know, 130, 40, something like that. I, was, I thought I had something on this. I might have. I might have, could have had. I think I cut my paperwork up. There it is. This is that. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Stare at it for a while, why don't you, you dumb idiot? Okay, so... 1503, 50, 15031, North Fork G10. See, not quite a three inch. Ah, 140. Okay, so yeah, I was close. Close, but no cigar on the total guesstimation. And then here's your stats in case you missed uh, all my chat. Stainless steel liners, reversible tip up, pocket clip. But, you know, those are skeletonized. These all check out as far as blade thickness uh yeah yeah good knife interesting comes in a box that's a little bit bigger than it probably needs to be but it's probably a standard uh box that they use for different models as well nice knife i like it very easy to function with don't know. I mean, you know, as far as style goes, would you rather have a, a grip, mini grip? What would you rather have? I don't know. Uh, this is a knife that's getting pretty good reviews from the people who have bought it and are using it. So, uh, and you're getting a premium steel here, different than just a 154 CM. So maybe this is uh, more attractive because of that because of the difference in the blade steel. Maybe the look of it. Maybe the sculpted G10. That kind of thing. So, there you go. I mean, Benchmade, they make all kinds and uh, they make some really interesting stuff. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you want uh, because then you can participate in my giveaways and the giveaways are always fun. Oh man, we all have fun, I mean. Chime in with crazy comments if you want. Uh, it's just fun. We have a lot of exchange in the comment section. And I get involved every once in a while. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's just nutty. Or, you know, email me, lovethemknives at gmail.com. There you go. And I'll try and put my email address in the description section of the videos that I do. I'm trying to keep up with doing that because you may want to contact me if you're interested in purchasing any of the knives that I review because they kind of roll over and over to refund future knife uh, purchases. Thank you so much again. Take care. We love them knives.